Hello everybody, what's new in the whole universe? I hope that everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and today I'm gonna talk about how I slept today on this floor but with a little bit of blanket also and it was my first experience of conscious sleeping on the floor but it was not first experience of sleeping at f on the floor at all like i was sleeping before in 2019 when i was sleeping with a girl and also on 2000 at 2017 to 2016 it was happy new year on the specific party of uh, like friends and something like this and also maybe i slept before than 2016 I mean that uh, older, older uh, ages, like long back ago, but I don't remember these moments. Maybe I remember kind of in my imagination, but it is super subconsciously inside of my mind, okay? In total, I slept three times and it was conscious one yesterday. I mean that uh, today, like uh, six hours ago, I woke up and uh, decided to be alive and be nice. And uh, today I'm going to talk about my experience, how I slept. First of all, why did I start it? Why do I want to sleep on the floor? Because I thought that it will be a nice experience to try. Because uh, we understand that our life is super kind of uh, interesting thing and why should we invest time on sleeping on the bed when we can sleep sometimes on the floor and have new experience? I wanted to have new experience, like to talk about. I can uh, then say to someone that I slept on the floor, it's okay to sleep on the floor. And now I understand that, yes, it's okay to sleep on the floor, really. And uh, also why I wanted to try it, because I think it will be good for my posture. I learned that it, it is uh, a lot of uh, good benefits, at least. Uh, Shaolin monks they sleep on the floor and uh, something like this and people of monks monk mindset they sleep on the floor too and I think that it will be healthy thing maybe because previously I had the good healthy healthy like workout routines I tried almost everything I was wake up at 4 30 a.m before and uh, I was doing it for a long period of time like five months also I was uh, doing uh, I was taking cold shower and I do this daily in a daily routine and today I do did it too I have done it too and I do this from 2019 uh, I mean that 2019 I started first doing it and uh, I mean no I started in 2017 or even earlier but in a way of like daily continuous work constant work I was doing it from 2019 and uh, you imagine like I I'm doing it almost two years because I started it at uh, at fall I mean that uh, was spring spring summer then it autumn autumn i started it at autumn and uh, 2019 it is uh, one year and a half i do a cold shower it is good and also i was doing healthy diet and i think that i should uh, come back to the healthy diet like uh, full healthy because sometimes i do kind of let's go ice cream eating let's do some chocolate eating and uh, when you are allowing yourself to eat a little bit of uh, a little bit of candies then you feel kind of jesus christ then i can eat any candies it is like all or nothing for me works this way all or nothing and uh, sometimes i need to say nothing sugar at all i will not i will not eat sugar let's focus only on this and i quit it a lot and i came back a lot but right now i want to again do diet because it means a lot to my health and my mental health and understanding me and kind of i look much more attractive i look attractive now but when i don't uh, eat sugar then i look really jesus i'm amazing i'm the, the superstar of this world and also i tried a lot of uh, good routines uh, like productive routines i was uh, working for 16 to 15 hours sometimes i was doing like 10 hours marathons of writing 10 hours marathon of 
playing piano 10 hours marathon of learning English and doing different stuff for 10 hours long and uh, it means for me kind of productive. Also I was doing interviewing people on streets uh, like a, a full day from the from like 8 a.m. of Moscow time till uh, 24 I mean that 12th 11, okay, 11, it will be easy to count, 11 p.m., 11.55 p.m., I don't know, it will be p.m. next or a.m., I mean that midnight, till the midnight, it means that I was uh, doing work for 16 hours, working on streets and interviewing people, and I had a lot of different experiences in my life, and I didn't try to do conscious sleeping on the floor, that's why I started it, and also I thought that it will be good benefits. Right now about benefits, I really, when I woke up today in the morning, I felt like, hmm, amazing, my, I was hearing a little bit of snaps, snaps and cracks inside of my, I don't know, what is it, joints, inside of my joints, like when I woke up, I was like, <coughs> it was like cracking sounds, and it was kind of not really like uh, every time because when i wake up at on bed i i sleep on sofa but it is mostly bad i mean that it is bad sofa then i don't feel the this ty- kind of cracks and k- 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 things and uh, but uh, in the morning i was cracking but my my spine it is either mental understanding that my spine is something good right now or it is the real like i really see that it is started to be better i mean in the meaning of posture in the meaning of posture not like when i do kind of uh, you you know that you can do sometimes good posture like let's be with a good posture right now stay tuned and something like this or you can be in this type of posture. I, I, I'm never, maybe I was, but I don't do kind of this type of things. I'm not with a bad posture. But in the morning, I felt like it is natural to be in a good posture. Kind of this way. And I looked at the mirror and also my parts of the right side and left side of my spine is better. I don't want to say that I have a scoliosis, but maybe I have kind of to the a little bit of angles to the right or to the left but in the morning i was like real statue statue of the <laughs> of liberty and of a nice looking little and uh, of really and uh, for my spine it was good for else also legs good too for arms too but i didn't notice something like new things also my blades blades Something new with my blades, they are kind of different. Feels different uh, in the meaning of uh, not really like every time, but I think it is healthy. I think it is healthy because uh, so big amount of uh, forums and topics of benefits of this type of laying on floor says that it is good for your uh, all types of spine organs. It means for blades some maybe too, maybe, I think so. And uh, I was doing this experience and uh, about mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are really annoying sometimes for me and uh, they're kneeing kneeing to my my ears and uh, it was not really a nice experience in a way of uh, was I really in a mood that I'm fully fulfilled, that I fulfilled my my like ratio of uh, of sleep like bar i imagine this is he- it is a health bar like from games yes we have a health bar but it was sleep bar did i fulfill it full uh, i mean that did i recollect it full gather full like uh, when i sleep and good sleep when i use good sleep then i'm kind of 100 percent but because of uh, mosquitoes i did not fulfill it in uh, like 100 percent and i will not say about this super adequate uh, that i was sleeping really nicely and uh, maybe i fulfilled it on 80 percent but i want to say that it is really nice to wake up when you are on the floor you are really more awake when you are 
get up because uh, it is I don't want to say that it's uncomfortable to lay on the floor because I think that it's normally but m many people on internet says that say that uh, it is not uncomfortable it is uncomfortable to continue to lay on uh, on the floor and uh, because of it I wake up and I feel more disciplined because of it but on the floor it is kind of feeling better Feeling better when you wake up in the meaning of your body is already awake. When you lay on the floor and uh, you feel more... When you lay on the floor, you feel more awake. Your body is already exercised. It is like you made your money routine of exercises. Yes? One moment, I will drink. You can skip kind of seven, eight mi seconds. Okay, thank you, guys. And uh, then, when you wake up on the floor, you feel awake because of it is kind of exercise already, massages for your spine that was made, and you feel already in a good kind of mood. Yes? About uh, sleeping on a bed, sometimes you need a little bit of discipline to wake up, because uh, you need to do workouts at the morning or do something like this way, but on the floor you're already a little bit of uh, prepared and you already warmed up. Yes, I want to say th this, you are warmed up for a day and then you wake up and do exercise. I was doing it today. And about uh, what's more, sometimes it is, it is a little bit of cold to sleep on the floor, not fully, but uh, it all depends on your room when you sleep. For me, it was uh, a little bit of cold, because I I used only blanket, blanket like uh, like this piece of paper, <laughs> with uh, thickness of this, and uh, also I had um, how to say it? Bl blanket for for a floor, yes, blanket towel towel kind of. I don't know what's the name of it. And I also used bl blanket in the means in the meaning of like uh, this thickness to cover myself like a cocoon, yes. And uh, also I had a pillow. That's all. It's what I, I had. But some people on internet they say that they use a lot of preparation. They use different layers of <laughs> like it is new bed or mattresses they use it. Uh, and uh, but I was laying fully on the floor, fully on something thick and uh, with uh, <laughs> so strong and uh, on the floor. I imagine that you are laying on the floor and that's all uh, you are only with blanket that super makes it clean. <laughs> only for cleanliness, that's all. And it is a little bit of cold. Try to lay, lay on the floor in your room right now. If you feel, if you want to try it. If you feel that it is cold, then use something that will be maybe warming you. Maybe. And uh, it is my advice so that I can give recommendations for people who started to, who started to. Also about things. About mental and about dreams. I had no dreams. I mean that I don't remember them. Sometimes I, when I sleep on bed, I have a lot of dreams, different types, but when I was sleeping on the floor, I didn't have them, but I had something new, really interesting type of thinking. I want to say that I had some, I don't know, kind of my mental images went to the some new types of analyses. It's maybe about me, because uh, I'm uh, so <laughs> freak, a freak of uh, imagination, yes, and uh, of awareness and analysis, analysis, maybe because of it. But when I sleep on the, on the bed, on my bed, then I feel I have dreams with uh, kind of adventures, adventures and things of this nature. But when I was sleeping on the floor, I had dreams with... Uh, I don't want to say that numbers, but with analyzing things. I was kind of awake when I was laying on the, on the floor and I didn't feel that I, I'm dreaming. I mean that sleeping. I was kind of sleeping, but uh, sleepy awake. I want, I don't want to say that I want fully right now to sleep and I'm kind of sleepy beauty and I want to sleep more, but I feel that I'm not super awake that I was uh, sleepy on, on the bed. Maybe because I slept today less than I usually sleep on the bed, 
and it means that they need to make a regime need to make specific schedule for my sleep and then it will be better because it is kind of uh, it is first time and we don't we can't say it fully we can say fully about our progress of sleeping on the floor only by one one thing statistically it is only one one try and so you can judge things by one thing but uh, it is not really kind of uh, good research you will have you understand if you are a scientist you understand that uh, to have a research you need to try one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, uh, t- till one hundred one thousand or ten th- th- ten thousands uh, different times to have a representation of all the picture that you have about this experience and all what i can say only by my first thing that uh, i did not sleep well fully but it was good time it was good time even i w- i woke up in the middle of the night at 3:50 i thought that need to wake up maybe but i didn't wake up <laughs> i i i started to sleep uh, next and uh, i slept till 7:40 40, 45 p.m. 45 a.m and uh, woke up at this time and i went to bed at uh, 11 40 11 40 and uh, i think that i went asleep at maybe 1 a.m because it was not really nice to to close my eyes kind of uh, a little bit of mosquitoes here but it was good it was good okay positive thinking it was good so, guys, n- right now you have more experience through my prism. I think that I will continue to sleep on the floor. Need to try it. And uh, why should you try it? Like, uh, my guesses. Because you can imagine that you one day will be homeless. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes. But you already have experience of sleeping on the floor. It is at least one thing. Or you will go to prison. And uh, you already have experience of sleeping on the floor. It is uh, like uh, benefits of, uh, of sleeping on the floor. You have experience. It means that you are already prepared for this type of life. And if you are prepared for this type of life. Then nothing scary to you. Nothing. Really. You have this experience. Okay. You have that experience. Okay. Like you, you wake up at 4.30. Okay. You are prepared for army. Or maybe for immediate wake up at at the morning or something. You do cold showers. You already prepared for something like coldness and really like Jesus Christ. It will be cold. It will not. It will be war or something, and uh, it will be super cold around us. I, I, age and types of this nature, and you are already prepared. And you sleep on the floor, you're already prepared for the living on the streets. And, and uh, the last thing that you need to do, maybe, to be prepared for the streets, uh, the, uh, it is to, to, to go to people and ask them to have uh, good communication skills uh, to ask you for money. <laughs> like this way. And also trying to find the, f- find the food or maybe hostel or something. But sometimes you can sleep on the floor. And also if you want to be a homeless then need to have uh, kind of clothes need to find clothes when to uh, when to find them and that's all you you can't be anyone you are a nelson mandela of your life guys you can't do anything nelson mandela slept uh, on uh, in inside of the prison i don't know what's uh, the i seen a little bit of pictures need to google nelson mandela prison prison room Maybe need to... S- yes, 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 yes. One moment. We will Google it together. It is his place. Yes, he slept maybe on the floor. On this th- on this place. I don't know. Prison cell. But here is... No, he had... He had sleeping place. Or here... Here is no place. Okay, you are prepared for sleeping in prison. Of this type. Good. Good. I'm at least prepared. Nothing scary. Nothing scary, guys. Nothing scary to sleep on the floor. If you are scared. It is good for your posture. For your mindset. And the same thing for the cold shower. Okay. 
What have I done? First. Sleepy on the floor. Good. Okay, taking cold shower. Diet. And also harmony. I was, uh, how to say it, uh, Galadania. Harmony? Harmony. Mini. It is when you don't eat. Don't. Not eating. Not eating term. What's the name of it? Harvesting, maybe. One moment, I will Google it. We'll find it. Anorexia, another word, not eating. Thesaurus, not eating. One moment. <laughs> we'll find it. Fasting, fasting. Also, I was doing fasting for one day and a little bit of time. I mean, that's uh, kind of one one day and a half. I was doing fasting for almost 30 hours in my life. Okay, let's collect all the materials. I was sleeping on the floor. Good. I was taking cold shower for one year. Good. I was doing fasting for one day and uh, oh, for 30 hours. I was doing working on streets for 16 hours, talking with strangers, uh, like fully strangers. And uh, it was not scary. It was nice. Nothing scary in this life, guys. And uh, uh, the only thing that it is scary to kill other people. It is need to be scared of these things. I mean that no, no need to be scared, but no need to do this, guys. Okay? Okay? No need to kill people. Need to be a good and humanity. Humanity sharing all these things. Uh, need to share kindness. Need to share love to them. To people. To all people in our life. Okay? And uh, also I was taking cold showers for... Okay, I said about it. Diet. Diet. But... Okay, we have diet and fasting. Fasting it is a little bit of a uh, harder choice, but uh, fasting it is a good thing too. Exercises. I was doing... Maybe need to do challenges of exercise, like doing exercises for one year. I think it will be nice. Okay, and uh, that's all. Today I was doing a little bit of exercises and I will continue right now. Need to do card cardio, cardio. Need to do daily cardio, I think so. To do sweating. Yes, it will be good. For today, also I will do now my university work. Need to do with laws, laws of education, education, also with social linguistics. But first, need to start from laws of education, then social linguistics, or maybe with my languages, master's degree, creating my own languages. That's all. So thank you a lot for watching this video. Improve cell daily, go forward. You can do absolutely anything in your life. Absolutely anything. Absolutely. Thank you for Fiona. Thank you for people who was commenting in previous videos. I really appreciate it. Sometimes I don't have... I have notification that you wrote to me, like on email about Fiona. I have notification that you wrote to me on email and also I have the message. But in one moment, this message is deleted. I don't know why. Really. Why? Why is it? Something with YouTube, maybe. Something with coding, and uh, I mean that something with um, servers, maybe. If we look at this as programmers, as developers of this platform, that it may be their not fault, I don't want to make them kind of fault and judge them, but maybe this kind of uh, th a room for improvements for them to do this. They can work and improve it. I think so. So, thank you so much for watching. Improve Saldele. Go forward. You can absolutely anything. See you next time. It was Igor, Russian man who brings well with the most experiences. Bye-bye.